All right, I'm going to be conducting this interview very reluctantly with a great deal of trepidation. Uh, you know the frame of mind that Vader has been in all weekend long. As a matter of fact, it goes way back. <laughs> Ever since he got... Vader, I I'll just I'll hand the microphone over to you and just give it to you. I'm concerned about Hulk Hogan. He has no... I'm sure he's got a pretty good idea what he's going to have what to deal with. You know what time it is. What time is it? Well... It Jesse Allen! Jesse Allen and Boulder, Colorado! And the whole wide world! Tell me and let me hear you! What time is it? <laughs> yeah! Y'all know what time it is! It's time for Vida! Hogan! You can run no more! You can hide no further! Because the demon is upon you! The demon is fear! And you're looking at the demon, hey, hey, brother! Hey, hey, Vader, excuse me. Vader, I, I, I don't, I don't want to upset you any more than you are. What about that limousine? Who was inside the limousine today? Doesn't matter who was in the limousine! Does it really matter? What matters is Hogan wasn't in it. You, you got to be the luckiest man alive because I'd have ended this thing right here and right there. Hogan, my vision, my dream, if you will, standing in front of thousands and thousands of people and millions and millions of people on TV. And I look down at a broken, bloody Hogan and I ask you, who is the man? And out of your own lips, I hear you say, Vader, you're the man. You're the Thank man. Thank you very much. It's going to be Vader Hulk Hogan tonight, head on, here at Super Pro 5. This man is nuts. Let's get back to Tony and Bobby. My goodness. Well, Gene, uh, way to handle yourself there, and it was very tough. Vader, there's no question about it. He is ready. He has been ready ever since uh, he made the challenge back in Nashville, Tennessee, at our last pay-per-view, our last of 94 at Starcade. And in a few moments, Vader and Hogan will collide. We haven't heard from Hulk Hogan. We will. Why haven't we heard from Hogan? I'll tell you why we haven't heard from Hogan. He is someplace in this building with security all around him, begging on his hands and knees, please, Keep Vader away from me. This man wants to tear my head off. Please keep Vader away from me. Hogan, we don't, I understand it. There's nothing wrong with it. You should be begging for help because Vader is gonna take you out tonight here at Super Brawl. And you know that, Tony. Well, the fans are waiting for that. And as me and Gene has been telling us, he will attempt to get an interview with the Nature Boy, Ric Flair. And there's a burning question. When Vader got out of the limousine, or before he did, we saw blonde hair. We saw there was a lady. Was that Ric Flair in Vader's limousine? With that question in mind, I believe right now, me and Gene Okerlund is standing by with this interview. Let's Who go to knows? Gene. Who knows? All right, thank you very much, Tony Schiavone. I just conducted an interview with Vader. I can't recall when I was ever that nervous. This man is an absolute nutcase. Well, perhaps the last appointment I had with a proctologist. Ladies and gentlemen, please, please welcome to Baltimore, Maryland, 12-time former WCW heavyweight champion, the nature boy, Rick Flair. Ladies and gentlemen, this man has been on the shelf ever since Halloween Havoc, but statements in recent weeks, Nature Boy has got a lot of people talking. The fans here at Baltimore, fans all over the world, want to know what's up. First of all, I'm going to call you on a carpet. I know you're in town styling and profiling, but was that you in Vader's limousine this afternoon? Now why would I be in Vader's limousine? Gene, I came to Baltimore! for the party! 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 
Brother, I saw Dusty Rhodes back there, and I remember the nights we were sold out. We rocked and rolled. We drove Baltimore crazy. I'm here because WCW is what's happening. Oh, yeah. All right, well, I'm yeah, How yeah. about Savage, huh? We even got the Macho Man in WCW. The Stinger driving a wild and Big Hulk Hogan. Maybe his last walk to the aisle as the World Heavyweight Champion. Now, now, wait a minute. Now, I'm going to have to call you on that. Uh, Nature Boy Ric Flair, I know you're going to be part of the audience tonight. Where are you going to be sitting? I'm going to be sitting right down there in the front row with five of the best-looking women this town has to offer, brother. Where did you get the women? After the show, doctor, the parties at the Marriott all night long. Wait a minute. I, I know the manager Woo! over there. I don't want you to start anything. The nature boy, Ric Flair, making a very auspicious appearance here at Super Brawl. And I think these fans love it. I know Bobby the Brain Heaton is over there absolutely licking his chops. He loves to see it. Now I think the question is, is the nature boy here as just a, just a spectator? Or is he here in some other capacity? Tony, Bobby, let's get back to you, gentlemen. Well, thank you very much, Mean Gene Oakland. There he is, the nature boy, Ric Flair, who's going to be sitting in ringside. And I tell you what, something's up. And we heard just last night on WCW Saturday night that... Uh-oh. He's joined with the fans already, and it's not uh, anything too nice, as a matter of fact. The Nature That's Boy... the man. The Nature Boy, Ric Flair, at ringside for our next bout, which is a big, colossal tag bout. Gary Capetta, it's all yours. 